All right guys, so I'm gonna take you through a drill today for flexibility through the quads. So two primary muscles to be aware of with this one and the reason we're doing the drill like this is the rectus femoris and the sartorius because they cross both the pelvis, the proximal hip and the distal part of the femur being the knee. So they cross uh, two joints there. So when we're trying to lengthen these guys out or um, train in ways that can trigger increases in range of motion, we have to basically have length at both the knee and the pelvis in a very specific way. Um, I'm gonna show you the drill and then we'll talk about a couple of reasons why it's good to pursue this. So I'm gonna use um, the rings as a prop here to help me do this drill. If you don't have rings, TRX will um, serve the exact same purpose. And if you don't have a TRX, attaching a band to a stationary solid object, be it a power rack, a squat rack, or something that's not gonna move, that's really important. Um, and then that's gonna support you in the motion. So in the start position, you wanna be in neutral, okay? So we're not gonna be internal or externally rotated, and I certainly don't want you guys to be out like this. This does take some of the tension off of the muscles that we're working on in this drill. So if, they are, if the quads are epically tight, you can consider starting, starting here and then working your way in as a progression for this regression, okay? So um, I'm gonna start in neutral. Soft surface underneath you is really important as well because the ankles are in this position, in this full um, plantar flex position. So here's the drill. What I want you to do is grab onto whatever you're using as a support and it should be light contact to begin with. The position of your pelvis should go not in anterior tilt, you should be in posterior tilts. So you're tucking your tail under, okay? So tucking the tail under, everything else in neutral. So right now, just with that, some of you might feel that straight away through the quads because we are lengthening the origins of the muscles I've mentioned, as well as the, uh, the insertions as well. So we're really working at both proximal and distal ends already. So I'm gonna hold that posture. My ribs are also down and my head's gonna be in neutral. So I'm in this kind of laid out, laid back position. I'm gonna grab onto my support. As I said, it's light contact here because I want you to lower yourselves down as far as you feel you can with your own strength and control. And then when you need to, take some of the weight with your hands on the thing that's supporting you. In this position, I'm not letting those angles go, okay? I'm not gonna let my chest flare up. I'm not gonna let my pelvis dip down all the way so I'm seated. And now in this position, I'm pushing my feet and my shins into the floor so I'm contracting my quads. And then I'm gonna relax, let the tension go out of my quads and try and hold the other positions. And then I'm gonna use these to pull myself back to the start, okay? It's quite brutal to begin with. Um, you're gonna feel asymmetries. This will uncover rotations in the pelvis. You've got to concentrate a lot on maintaining your alignment. We always talk about headlamps here, don't we, when we're dealing with clients. So we wanna make sure the headlamps are pointing straight forward and they're tucked up. Pelvis is tucked underneath and you're gonna repeat that drill, maintaining those angles, only using the support of the hands when you need to. And then I'm contracting my shins and feet into the floor in this position. And I can let the tension go, maintain my angles through the spine and the pelvis, pull myself back up, okay? So that is a drill that is gonna uncover some serious tension probably kicking around in your quads, at either end, both ends, wherever it may be. As long as you don't feel marked pain in the back of the knee or in the very front of the knee itself, if it's just localized to the muscles themselves and the muscles are just feeling stiff and tight when you move, that's okay. Work with the range of motion that you have and use the contractions and the relaxations while these quads are under length. The reason to do that, we use it for um, bridge progressions to get a gymnastics bridge. Um, it's gonna help out the lunge pattern and also when you take the tone or the, um, the gain out of these muscles, you're gonna help facilitate, which means to switch on the muscles on the back, obviously being the glutes. So taking the gain down out of the quads has postural impact. It has impact on your movement capabilities and it's gonna facilitate other muscles that may be inhibited due to just some overactivation of these guys to begin with.